Hello, my name is James Davis from upad.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining us on one of our videos. Uh, today I'm joined by Ray Bolger. Ray is uh, from John Charcoal Mortgage Brokers. Um, they're an independent national firm. And we just wanted to talk about uh, how many landlords are incorporating. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the papers that um, so many landlords are incorporating to overcome Section 24. We cover that off on other webinars and guides, so I won't go into all of that now. Um, but I, I sort of see a lot of noise in the press that everyone's incorporating, but everybody I speak to from a landlord perspective um, is still very much trading as their individuals. What, what are you seeing from a mortgage perspective? And I guess what do landlords need to think about from a finance perspective if they, if they are going to incorporate? Yes, I think that very much reflects our view. Less landlords have incorporated than we expected. Generally, it's not going to make sense if you have an existing property to incorporate it because you're going to incur all sorts of costs, including capital gains tax, unless perhaps you've got a loss on that property, in which case there yeah. might be some merit in taking the loss. So we're really talking about new purchases. Um, and I suspect that as more and more landlords start to be hit more and more by these tax changes, we may see some who previously have thought it's not worthwhile, perhaps deciding it is worthwhile. Yeah. But the key question, of course, is with the new rules, and with the other factors that are making life more difficult for landlords, are you going to expand your portfolio anyway? Yeah. But if you are, then if you are either a 40% taxpayer or the new rules would push you into that bracket, yeah. which for most landlords actually is probably yeah. likely to be the case, yeah. then I think there is quite a strong argument for incorporating. But it's something that at John Charcoal, we don't give advice on the tax pros and cons. Yeah. So we'd always recommend people speak to their tax advisor. I think the one thing I just urge everybody to do um, is to understand what this means for you. So at the top of our home page, there's a, a section called Landlord Hub. Um, we have a calculator where you can put in what your mortgage amount is, what interest rate you pay. So you can see what the effects of Section 24 is it fully comes into play. I really urge all landlords to do that, to understand what this additional tax will be for you, whether indeed is what Ray is saying, especially if you've got a portfolio, um, these costs are going to be quite detrimental and you sort of have to um, incorporate. And the reason why I really urge you to do all of this is I think so many landlords have sort of almost got their head in the sand of what is happening and what is about to happen from a cost perspective that I think it's important we all understand what our costs are, especially when you're refinancing that you're not putting yourself in a, in a position where it's costing you to be a landlord. Yep. And I think a lot of people perhaps didn't initially realise what the impact might be if the changes meant it was going to push them into getting less pension tax relief or getting less pe personal allowance. And so you know, there will be some hidden costs yeah. which some people might not realise till they do their tax return. Yeah. The other point on the mortgage front that's worth making is that prior to these tax changes, because relatively few people incorporated, there were relatively few mortgages available to yeah. Um, yeah. For, for properties yeah. owned on a limited company basis. And as a result of that, the costs were much higher. Now there's a much wider choice. Many lenders offer the same rates on their limited company mortgages as they do on their, non, you know, on their personal mortgages. Yeah. So from a mortgage point of view, the negatives of having a property owned by a limited company are much less than they yeah. used to be. Um, all very important. Also get independent uh, tax advice on all of this as well to decide what's best for you. Ray, thank you very much as ever. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed watching our video and look forward to having you on future ones uh, going forward.